<laughs> yeah, maneuvering the wheelbarrow on this little pathway is tricky, huh? Good job, Josh. It is an absolutely beautiful fall day and it's already halfway over. Uh, my morning was spent inside doing dishes and laundry and cleaning inside and I've uh, just been itching to get outside all morning. You've been outside, haven't you? She's tired. <laughs> So finally outside and we're working on a little project for just a little bit. Gonna have to go in pretty soon for lunch and uh, editing and getting her down for a nap and a bunch of other things. Uh, so this is just gonna be a few moments of pleasure out here in the garden. What you got there? A giant comfrey leaf. Whoa, that's huge. <laughs> so our project is we are taking down our old composting uh, bins, four pallet bins that we used for composting when we first got on our property and they're kind of right in the middle of the garden and not a very good location so we're we're taking them out and uh, we're going to use that spot uh, where the soil is really nice to pot up or to plant all these many plants that we have in pots here so that they can stay warm for the winter then in the spring we will <laughs> transplant them other places <laughs> she's not happy you want a nap, huh? Can Mama work in the garden for just a little bit, please? Is that okay? <laughs> All right, so let me show you what we got going over here. All right, so here's the project spot. Over here is where there was four big compost bins going on. And the children have been working on breaking them down through the week. And so now we're, what are we doing with that, Josh? I'm going to take this to the burn pile because it's the stuff that's hot usable at all. Yeah, sorry about the sun there. Yeah, yeah, most of it's not usable, so we're just going to burn it. But if there are some good pieces, we'll take them down to the barn for scrap. And now I'm on the other side of the compost area here. So something else I'm hoping to get to, but maybe I'm being a little too hopeful, is we're going to hopefully move this whole Jerusalem artichoke patch. Jay, are you excited to help harvest the Jerusalem artichokes, buddy? Uh -huh. Yeah, what you working on? Making a little house. Making a little house? So this patch is huge and it's just been spreading and it's actually right in the middle of a future bed, growing bed space that we want. It's also in the middle of the pathway to our chicken yard here. So we're hoping to move these, some of these Jerusalem artichokes to the front of our barn. And they are going to still come back no matter how hard we try and get rid of them. They're going to come back. Uh, we'll just have to probably pull them like weeds next year. <laughs> You're gonna take that just by hand, Nate, all the way no, to the barn. The wagon. Okay, smart. I'll get out of your way. Good work. Okay. Off to the barn. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lulu. How are you, girl? Hi, hey, girl. We're also hoping to get to some family pictures today. Every year, about this time of year, we love to go for a nice family walk in the neighborhood because the colors are just beautiful. It's so beautiful and the weather's nice, so we're gonna try and do that later today as well. Yeah. That was so much faster than your old method, huh, Caleb? What you using? Battery-powered saza, which I'm using to cut this uh, cow panel. Cow panel. Yeah, because we need to uh, we needed to clear this whole section here for Jerusalem artichokes, and the panel was going right into the middle of this wall. So we're clearing it out, getting it ready. And where did that tool come from? Uh, my dad's work. Got it for free, basically, huh? Well, he did a lot of work, but. <laughs> yeah, in the past you've had to use, what, what's the tool you used in the past that took forever? I used to use an angle grinder. Uh, which, do you, which do you prefer, the angle grinder or this tool? This one's a little bit better. <laughs> Much quicker, huh? Yep. 
Alright, yay, the gate is reattached. It's the proper size for this opening. And there you go. here's how they tell, attached tell it. Tell them what we did. Alright, so we just tacked some nails in here and, and just bent them over to make the makeshift hinge. Makeshift hinge here. <laughs> super simple, super cheap. <laughs> Yep. And better than it was, huh? Yep. We kind of have a saying on our homestead. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. <laughs> yep. Nice. And here's where we're at with uh, getting ready for Jerusalem artichoke transplanting. We cleared some of the grasses along the edge. We didn't dig the whole thing up. Just got the edge of the grass area dug up and then put a layer of soil. Cardboard. Now we're going to put a little bit more soil and put our artichokes in and then cover the whole thing with a good layer of old hay from the barn. And hopefully they'll be happy for the winter. Thanks, bud. You've been collecting yeah. our boxes for us, huh? Uh-huh. Good job. I think this is our last one. Keep playing on the cardboard. <laughs> I know cardboard boxes are not necessarily the most organic, non-toxic thing to use. They do have some glues and things in them. We try and get all the tape off if we can to help with that. And it's just what we have right now. We don't have really any other better weed barrier, so that's what we're using. You see the chickies over there? What are those over there, Beetle? Those chick chickies? <laughs> Is that fun? What are you two looking at? <laughs> what do you have on your head, buddy? A crown. <laughs> Is that a copper wire crown? <laughs> Are you a king? <laughs> the mama hen is out with two chicks. No, I won't hurt you. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Mama's saying, let my baby come back. Be careful. Be careful, bit. They're tiny. Be careful. Ooh, Mama doesn't like that. She says, leave my babies alone. They're about three or three or four days old now. We try not to touch them until they're at least three days old. <laughs> You gonna get it? Where'd they go? They're going away from you. You're a big threat to them right now. All right, load number two of soil. It's like a lasagna bed we're building here. Is that the last load of old pallet nader bug? Good job. Soft soil, huh, Bit? Load number three. Load number three. All right, we've had a question a few times in the comments by subscribers about, don't you guys ever have a bad day? And, well, of course we don't. We don't have bad days, but we do have bad moments. And what do you think about that, Josh? Well, when you remember all the good, then you can't really stay in those bad moments. So it's only for a moment that it's bad. You remember all the good that you had, you know? Because of our faith and what the Bible teaches about, the Bible says, place your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. 
to have the mind of Messiah. So that means to think on beneficial things, to think on good things, to think on things that are worth really thinking on. Don't dwell on the negative. Don't dwell on the bad things. Yeah, bad things are going to happen, but you just deal with it. You just deal with those bad things, huh? Yep. And then you go forward in victory. Yep. And so, yeah, we have bad moments, but we don't really have bad days. I can't say that for anybody in our family that we have, like, bad days. We don't just get stuck in badness for a whole day. Mm -hmm. huh. All right, Joseph and Esther dug up some juice and artichokes for us. Thank you, Esther Pie. Joseph, I think, is still digging. And now we're just going to bury them in. Uh, Naderbug, let's spread them all first so we know where they're all at, and then we'll start putting them down deep. And I think we're going to put them about a foot apart. Maybe not quite a foot apart, something like that. You can tell this is not a, a planned out, precise, measured <laughs> event here. We are just putting them down. Okay, time to bury them. Put them all the way down to the cardboard. Yep, deep as you can get them. Buried in. We're going to put one more load of soil on top and then we'll put our old hay. some old pieces of row cover that are kind of holy and don't work so well anymore. We're going to cover it so the chickens don't dig it all out. <laughs> he wants to see what daddy's doing. This is a friend's tractor that we're just um, storing for the time being and Kip's making sure it's still running okay. Seems to be running. All right so we covered this bed to help keep all the critters off but can't keep this critter off. You like laying on that, Joseph? <laughs> we ran out of time for our walk, so we're finding a pretty spot on our property for family pictures. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere right over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining us on this absolutely beautiful fall day. We pray blessing over you and yours, and whatever you do, do it with your whole heart. <laughs>